it is day four for me on this project. It took me two sittings to scratch on all of the texture onto the leaves. And now I'm ready to assemble. So today you are going to need a bowl. And in this bowl, I suggest that you align with a fresh piece of saran wrap. Make sure there are no wrinkles on that saran wrap. You may even want to tape it to the outside of the bowl so that it doesn't get wrinkled because if your saran wrap slides under pieces that you are joining, when you go to pull that saran wrap away and the piece away from it, it will actually break it off. So you need to be very diligent about not getting wrinkles under the saran wrap. Okay. You are also going to need vinegar today, paintbrush, or however you're going to apply that. Could be your finger. Do recommend a paintbrush though, and your leaves, and an idea and a plan of how you're going to do this, which hopefully you should already have. So I am going to be doing this uh, because I like to live dangerously on a plaster of Paris drape mold. So this is a pretty substantial mold. Uh, my bowl is going to be bigger than yours, but this is gonna be trickier for me because this is going to start drying out. The plaster of Paris will suck away the water from the clay pretty quickly. And it is going to mean that I need to work quickly because as my pieces are already pretty dry, they're kind of on the edge of where they're not workable. Um, so I need to try to get this done today. I'm also still at school during the school day. It's uh, still in the morning and I've not actually recorded a video during school hours before. So I'm expecting interruptions and then I have a meeting in not too much longer. So this might be a foolhardy venture that I'm about to embark on. We'll see what happens. And four hours later, I'm back. So much for that plan. All right, you can see I've got my hub. Again, you guys are going to do this a little bit differently. You're going to be using a bowl, preferably, and constructing this on the inside um, of your bowl. And so you'll be working with your biggest pieces out. I, however, I'm going to do this differently. So I don't know if you guys can see, but I have texture on my leaves. And I'm going to work backwards. So this is going to be the, in, this, I'm working, this is going to be the outside of the bowl and then face down is going to be the inside of the bowl. So before I do anything, I'm just going to kind of place some things around and see how I like it. Um, I can't mess around with this too long because my clay is drying um, and it's not going to, tolerate me fooling around with this too much. actually have another set of leaves to put on these gaps, but I'm going to stop here. I think this is working out exactly as I wanted it to. So I'm just going to go ahead and start attaching the pieces before I drag out all the rest of them because they're going to start drying out really quickly. So to prevent that from happening, I'm going ahead and rewrapping some of the pieces out. I've got a good sense of where they are and I think this is going to be cool. So I'm going to give it a whirl. So this process is pretty, pretty straightforward. This is just going to be joining. So I'm going to keep my leaves wrapped up um, until I actually need them. And um, I'm going to bend it, you know, as I go. So I think the big thing is knowing where center is and making sure that I get this off onto the right, right foot.
I've just finished the bowl and I'm going to, I've decided I'm going to add a base to this. A foot ring is what actually what it's called. And this isn't a skill that we've talked about or anything that we've gone over. Although if we get to it later in the semester, we might, this isn't anything fancy. It's just merely, uh, I'm going to make a coil of clay and wrap it around the bottom and join it so that the bowl has, it's not sitting directly on the table or the surface it's sitting on itself, that it's got a little bit of an elevated bottom to it, which makes it, you know, a little bit better. So we're going to go with better. You do not have to do this. I'm not expecting to see a foot ring. I think if you guys get a bowl done, the other reason I wouldn't expect to see it is because you guys are building this backwards. So you would have to take it out and flip it and do all that stuff. So don't do a foot ring. I'm just going to leave this in for funsies. Enjoy. I just rolled out a, a coil and I wasn't expecting this to be right but I went ahead and trimmed it and it looks good. So uh, sorry, I didn't record the previous piece for you guys to see, but this is, uh, this is perfect. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and join it just as I join everything else. So notice that I've cut this on an angle and then this on an angle as well, or reciprocal angle, and then that helps fit together nicely and it should be pretty cool. up but not the least you guys know what it is I'm going to come in tomorrow I'm gonna to wrap this up pretty tight and flatten this base out because I don't think I actually have it perfectly level and so if this doesn't sit level I will be very sad and wish I had not put it on this got a lot more elaborate than a foot ring by the way I wound up almost turning it like you would on the pottery wheel. I was originally just intending to put on a lump of clay as a coil and leave it. But, you know, as with me, sometimes things get more elaborate. That is all from the art room tonight. Um, this has taken me about two and a half hours. So all together with this project, I would say from rolling it out to now has been about six or seven hours of work. So yours do not have to be this large. They do not have to be this elaborate, but I'm pretty excited about this bowl. Um, so I think when I take it off this tomorrow, it's gonna be pretty cool. So as you can see, this is not as it turns. 
it's not level. So I'm going to try to fix that tomorrow. It's, it's 525. It is, it is time to call it a day and go home. So I'm hoping I'm not making a mistake by not completely finishing this tonight. I don't think it's actually going to crack on this. I think it's going to pull in and up. So I think I'll be all right. I hope you guys enjoy this project. When this comes out, they look lovely and they're really nice pieces to have. So I hope that you're able to celebrate yours and give it as a gift if you want or keep it around forever. See you next time. quick update. I turned the pot out of the mold this morning. I did leave it in overnight, although I heavily saran wrapped it and I was really worried what I would find this morning, but all is well. And I just wanted to show it to you. I'm pretty excited. I think it came out really, really well. Um, so obviously yours probably will not be this large, but I think for, you know, an idea of what this can come out to be, this should give you a good sense. And you can see all the work of doing the um, texture on the leaves has really paid off. So I'm very excited about this. I have to say this is probably one of the better things I have made. I did unfortunately drop it uh, while turning it out of the mold. So I took a little chunk down at the very bottom out of the rim, but I'm not going to worry about it too much. So it's not like I'm selling this as a as a grand piece. Looking forward to what you guys come up with. Um, I think it's a pretty exciting project and it's not that difficult and it yields really great results as long as you're very patient with it. So good luck. Well, that's not useful.